Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kudzukai channel or welcome if you're new. I'm assuming if you're new you came from my cozy otaku vlog video. Thank you all so much for the support on that. That was just kind of something I decided to try on a whim. In addition to this series I guess so you probably see the title this is episode zero of the otaku oasis series where you get to see me setting up my new otaku oasis because I recently moved in the last couple months just wanted to start with this video of me packing my manga at my old place got this idea actually from M Collects. definitely check out their channel if you're interested in the same kind of things you see on this channel but I think they did a Q&A and I'm nowhere near as popular as M Collect, so I won't even dare. So instead of a QA, and a I'm going to be doing just a chit chat about manga. The manga I liked this year, the manga I didn't really like this year, as well as other things kind of about this channel. If you're interested in seeing me pack my manga and hear me talking, keep watching. I know they say, let's start with the positive. I'm just gonna get the negative out the way and maybe a lot of you will click off this video after this, but why did y'all lie to me about Yarch and Bitch Club? <laughs> I tried so hard to like Yarch and Bitch Club. I really did. Everyone who's not into BL, just go ahead, just step aside for a second. I'm talking to the BL people. Why did y'all do me bogus with telling me that Yarch and Bitch Club was so good. I read the first volume. It took me a week because I was struggling and I, I started to dislike myself because I thought I wasn't a true Fujiyoshi <laughs> because I didn't like Yarch and Bitch Club. And I started to read the second volume. And I was like, okay, maybe the chaos will turn into plot. And I didn't enjoy it, but just want to get that out the way. I know it's probably controversial. It is a cult classic. It is a favorite. It is a staple in most BL lovers collection, but not me. However, I do have Escape Journey from that same mangaka. And I think I will like that much more than Yarch and Bitch Club. I think... Other than that, there really wasn't much else that I didn't necessarily enjoy this year, which is great. <laughs> Anyways, on to the many a manga that I did enjoy this year, and I know I talk about this manga slash anime on this channel quite a bit but Tokyo Revengers is up there for one of the top shonen series I read this year as well as Lamb Dunk as well I've only read two volumes but I already know once I'm done with that that will be definitely in my top five also got introduced to many new series as well because i did read a good bit of my volume ones fire force being one of them parasite which is really good don da don really good series reading more of this wasn't a volume one but getting further into demon slayer which i plan on finishing that up very very soon within the first part of the following year started reading sweat and soap love sweat and soap everyone makes it out to be so weird it's not that weird it really isn't i read another good series in these words which is i think from a taiwanese publisher which is really cool i don't think i've ever read anything from a taiwanese publisher and this was also the year of popular webtoons and manhua getting printed in english the dangerous convenience store on or off love is an illusion killing stalking which i, I don't really like that one that much <laughs> but I may give it a try again in the future. Also read Don't Be Cruel. All of it. I think I'm up to date on Don't Be Cruel. Really enjoyed it. I can go on and on <laughs> about how much I enjoyed reading this year. Oh wait, and how can I forget? Probably one of the top BLs I read this year was Monotone Blue. 
And I did talk about it in a wholesome BL recommendations video. I'll put it in the cards if you want to check that out. But yeah, the pros definitely outweighed the cons this year in terms of manga. On the flip side of things, I do wish that I did read more this year. I feel like this year I did a lot more collecting than I did reading, which is not necessarily a negative. Um, and also I have different hyperfixations like art, finishing my island, <laughs> and Animal Crossing. So at times I do tend to not read as much, but I know next year I'm definitely going to try to make it a goal to do more reading and to turn that reading into more content like doing more reading logs getting better with my instagram putting maybe more reviews of both manga and novels on my instagram but i try to be careful in getting too wrapped up in terms of reading because honestly i am a slow reader <laughs> so i'm not going to be that person that read 300 manga in a year or if you're in the booktube space as well like i read 150 books i'm just never gonna be that person and sometimes with being online you do compare yourself to others and you see reading logs where people read 40 volumes and i'm like how the fuck did you read all of that so i try to be careful and be more give myself more grace in terms of reading more also no shade to the people who do read 30 manga a month that's actually fucking awesome continue to do that i just know that you know i can't do that also in addition to to being a slow reader i am a mood reader so currently there are probably at least 10 to 15 manga on my shelf that i have bookmarks in that i've started but all of a sudden i wasn't in the mood for it so i move on to something else and that's okay too it's weird in this manga tube space where like if you don't read what you collect, your, you know, legitimacy, legitimacy, legitimacy in this space is questioned, but you know, I, I've just cared less and less <laughs> about that. Don't want to get too long winded here, but yeah, we'll try to read more, but I won't die on a hill over it essentially. And while we're on the topic of collecting and not reading, there are a couple series I do want to put priority on in terms of collecting and completing them, like Slam Dunk. I want to get all of that. I recently got a bunch of it, which I'll have a haul soon because it's going to piss me off if they start going out of stock again. I do want to collect the rest of Nana that is available, as well as other Aizawa work. I cannot wait for Birds of Shangri-La, Volume 3, like stop. Ranma Rosaria. I also want to collect their works that aren't in English, <laughs> that I don't know if they're ever going to be printed in English, like I think Void. I do want to collect all of Naruto as well. And I kind of want to collect the first 27 volumes all used. I kind of want it to be like aged, you know, like I want the yellow copies. I want maybe a library copy. Like I want it to look beat up like I've had it for years. All right, I've done enough rambling for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And once again, I know every video has been this weird, long thank you at the end, but truly just thank you so much for being here, listening to my rambling. I mean, we hit 800 subscribers recently, and I think we're pretty close to hitting 900, which is insane and just, Thank you so much. I've said this before, but this channel means a lot to me. It's an outlet because being an adult sucks sometimes. So it's nice to have this escape while being in reality, if that makes sense. I don't know. What do the TikTok kids call it? Shifting? <laughs> which, quick thing. And like the kids shift 
to Hogwarts. Why the fuck would you go to school? I would never go to school if I shifted like, you know, as like a career, which some of these kids are shifting as a career. If I'm shifting, I am shredding a guitar with Slash in Guns N' Roses. I am a Jonin level ninja in Naruto. I, I, I'm not going to school. <laughs> like, why would you shift to school? Aren't you in school? Forget it. Anyways, next video in the series will be the official episode one. That will feature my desk, which you've probably seen clips of my desk in recent videos. So you'll see where all the items came from, me putting it together, all those things. Make sure you stick around for episode one. Thanks for staying for the pilot episode. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep reading manga or not and keep collecting it. <laughs> and I'll see you all in a new video very, very soon. Bye. A tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern California, much like Arizona. My eyes don't shed tears, but boy.